Hi everybody, I'm Dan Herring and welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365 and welcome back to Top Water Tuesday. Today, it's the sensational River to Sea Whopper Plopper. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so a little bit of history about the Whopper Plopper. This is a river to sea bait. It was invented by a very well-known fisherman, a big fish, a big game fish fisherman named Larry Dahlberg. It's not the first lure of this type. These types of lures have existed quite a while. And, and uh, Larry Dahlberg liked to use this type of walk lure for musky fishing. And he made his own plopper style bait, the Whopper Plopper, and he got together with uh, a gentleman from River to Sea and they came out with this Whopper Plopper in 2008. And, and it just took off from there. It, it took off for muskies, for striper fishing, for bass fishing. And they, they came out with all these different sizes. And it's been one of the most successful baits in recent times, hard baits anyway. Uh, it just They just sold so many of these things. And the bait is unique and it does work. So let's talk about it a little bit. So there's a lot of different sizes of the Whopper Ploppers and there's a lot of color variations. Uh, this one here is a 130 size that stands for 130 millimeters and uh, they make a bigger one they may even make two bigger ones than this for muskies and stripers and that kind of fishing but because my channel focuses a lot on bass we'll stick with the sizes that are geared better towards bass overall however those those sizes will catch bass as well especially in certain environments like uh, in texas for example but uh, this lure really became popular rather quickly as soon as it came out and one of the things that happened was the tournament circuits uh, this lure started to get used a lot and so it got a lot of popularity in the last several years and and a lot of people were catching a lot of fish on it because of it they saw these things being used at tournaments they saw how well it was catching fish on tv with top tournament anglers and uh, you know the word got out in other area, in other ways because people were catching fish on them and so this thing just took off and and it's been a crazy bait since so, so much so that i think now the fish are a little bit conditioned to baits like this i think it was actually hotter at one time than it is today that's not to say that it's not an effective bait now it certainly is it'll certainly catch fish under the right conditions it's a it could be the bait to throw still it's just it's not as sensational as it once was and it's because fish get accustomed to these things they get pressured they get uh, they know they learn what to avoid over time and so uh, now the whopper plopper is a, is a bait that i think of as a situational bait throwing under certain circumstances so we'll get into that a little bit so this 130 size i like this size it's a good size Here's a 110. This is a Whopper Plopper 110 millimeter. And we go down to a smaller size. This is a 90 millimeter. And then we've got these uh, fat guys here. This is a 75. Pretty nice tail. Smaller, shorter, but fatter. Different, uh, different shape to the bait. For all these Whopper Ploppers, the key to catching fish is the same as a buzz bait. It's the sound. It's all about the noise and the sound that it makes, the vibration that is put off by the by the plopper. And so when you're fishing these things, what's the best way to fish them? Well, uh, my approach tends to be I'll throw the whopper plopper out there and I'll and the first thing I'll do with it is get it back on a steady retrieve. And the speed of that retrieve is the sp I adjust that speed based on the noise that the plopper makes. I want it to make the the deepest, loudest sound that it can make. And that changes with the speed of your retrieve. So I adjust my speed to make it sound the loudest and deepest in the, in, the, uh, in the sound category of the bait. And I'll throw it that way for a while. And many times that's what will work and catch fish. If that doesn't work, I'll change the speed of the bait. I'll speed it up. I'll slow it down. I'll try that. If that doesn't work, before I put that bait away, I'll stop and go with it. Because there are times when the fish really want you to stop and go. And that stop and go can vary as well. You might just reel it a few times and stop, or you might want to rip your rod tip so that you're ripping the bait across the surface and stopping. Both those techniques can work. But that's usually the order of which I'll throw the bait in. And that's basically because overall, I find that, that uh, I like that, that steady retrieve in most conditions, but there are times when that stop and go is the, way, is the way to throw this bait. And some of that also depends on is the water still, you know, what are your conditions? How clear is the water? Is it still? Is there a chop on the water? 
all those things come into play when you're deciding how to fish this. The next question a lot of people have to say is, well, I just, you know, I don't have money to buy all these different colors and sizes. Which size is the best size? And that question is a little difficult to answer because I think it depends on conditions as well. Uh, personally, I like the 110 size the best. I like this size because it's a meaty lure. It's got good size to it, so it catches big fish, but it's not too big to catch, you know, a bunch of two pound fish as well. So it's kind of the best of both worlds that way. So I like the 110 size a lot. And if I'm fishing for smallmouth, I like this 90, 90 size. It's a little smaller and uh, it's, it's just a little bit better geared for smallmouth fishing overall. I also like the 130 when I'm fishing for larger fish and I, when I want to make a lot of noise. If there's a chop on the water, this is a good one to throw because it's bigger, it makes more noise. They can key in on it when there's a chop on the water. So the 130 is something I throw as well. And quite honestly, I've got these 75s, but I haven't experimented with them yet. I have not thrown these yet, so I can't really give you, uh, a, you know, what I think of the bait. And, and what conditions to throw it because I just haven't I don't have any experience with it yet and, and uh, so if you want to find out more about that size bait then my recommendation would be to search other YouTube channels for the, this particular size bait uh, in, specifically because I just don't have that experience as time goes on maybe this year I will get to use these baits and get some experience with them and when I do I can make a video at that time and, and, and be uh, a better in a better position to inform you about the bait. All right, let's talk about colors. So one thing you should know is that the, the guys on the on the pro circuit started using this color. I think I think in the river to sea whopper plopper they they actually call this bone. Sometimes you'd see a white like this be called bone, but in this lure this is called bone. It's really kind of like a dull pale yellow, and there's something about this dull pale yellow color it seems to really attract the fish. It's kind of unusual, it's a little odd, and it seems to work all over the country. Uh, north, south, east, west, doesn't seem to matter. It works everywhere you throw it. And so this is one you've got to have if you're throwing a whopper plopper because there's something about that particular color that really attracts fish. Another good color, you can never go wrong when you're fishing top water with fishing white. White is just a, a good all around top water color. The two other colors that I like, I really like this, this, uh, this one's called Monkey Butt. <laughs> and I like this color, it's got that olive green back, it's got a little purple, a little blue, a little pink on the sides, and that, that uh, very, uh, almost like a, a ghost minnow color in a jerk bait. It really is, it's like a ghost minnow color, and I like that color, it's very natural. I've caught a lot of small mouths on this color. Uh, two more colors. I'm not sure what this is called. It's got this dark greenish black back and a clear belly. It's maybe a shiner type color. That's always a good uh, uh, color. Anytime you're fishing a, a lure that's imitating bait fish, dark back, light belly, every bait fish in the world is colored that way. Can't go wrong with that. And then one last color that I, that I like quite a bit as well is perch because this could imitate a perch or even a bluegill because it's got those bars on the side and it's got that white belly as well. Those are the colors that I like the best when I'm throwing the Whopper Plopper. I'd be very interested to hear what your experiences are in fishing this bait. Have you fished the 75? If you have, please comment. Let me know how you've done. What are your favorite colors? What's your favorite sizes and conditions for fishing it? The only way to really get experience with these kind of baits is to get out there and throw them and fish them. And, and a good time to do that is in the morning, early morning, evenings. Another thing about this bait, it's a very good nighttime bait when it's dark out, especially that steady retreat. But even the stop and go at night could be good too. I caught them both ways at night and it tends to catch big fish both day and night. And you can't just ignore the middle of the day either. There are conditions where this thing will work great all day long, especially if you've got that little, little chop on the water. They seem to like this bait, you know, along bluff walls, along the sides of points. Sometimes this thing can be on all day long type of bait and, and so you, you have to keep it in mind as, as a possibility for throwing it. Well, I hope you found this video useful, informative, and fun. And if you did, hit that like button, give me the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications for when the next video is coming out. My channel is all about the art and science of fishing. Uh, you know, I would encourage you to take a look at other videos that I have. I have a lot of information out there. 
I get a lot of positive comments about the information I have. I try and bring unique information. I try and bring, bring things that maybe other channels won't talk about as far as modifications and, and things like that with lures and, and just ways of thinking about fishing. I'll probably be coming out with a video uh, very soon about the mental side of fishing and, and talking a little bit about that as well. Remember, we're certified bassified, and as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.